The North East has been home to some great TV comedies, including The Likely Lads and Alvida Same Pet, now jesting about has thrown down the comedy gauntlet to the next generation of writers. I think there was around 20 or so scripts that we've, we've got onto a long list, a long, short, long list, um, and then whittled that down to about seven or eight. We've got Ian Lafrenet to look at the guy's scripts and choose the kind of most promising one to create um, using the team writing showrunner, which is a kind of American style of creating sitcoms. He picked the idea which kind of best reflected uh, the region, so it's set in Middlesbrough, but also uh, the premise which he felt that collectively a team could come to and could write for. After the selection process, there's five writers, one idea and eight weeks to write a sitcom. You just don't know what you're walking into, especially when you're writing as a team. You're like, will we like each other? Will we fight or what? And it's just it's a real challenge for all of us and we're all up for it, actually. Well, we've got a script um, from the initial concept. It's all five people have contributed and it's been stuck together like Frankenstein's monster. And this every bit is ugly. <laughs> Today is a very exciting moment in, in the Jesting About experience because, uh, because we've got the legend that is Ian Lafrenet joining us. Um, I expect um, Ian to come in and uh, give us a real push on the momentum to move the script on. Having a regional voice uh, with characters I always find is fascinating because the great thing about Britain is every region is so unique and, and so near each other. It was great to meet him and he had a lot to say and he was very positive about and honest about the script. It's a sort of set piece of humour, isn't it? Mm -hmm. and, and I like the riff about but you be her and you be him. Back in Newcastle and it's time to sharpen those pencils. People are working really, really hard. I mean, there are people who already look slightly ashen-faced with creative exhaustion today and that's brilliant because making great content takes a lot of hard work and more help is at hand from some industry professionals. The fundamental thing about comedy, the clues in the title, you know, it needs to be funny. Follow the funny, look for the funny. You, there are mechanisms and you, you can learn techniques, and, but at the end of the day, you've got to know what the joke is and believe in the joke. It was a very difficult brief that I think they've done fantastically well on uh, because they'd created a very good world and they'd created some very good characters. Exactly. So I just turned up and was a bit bossy, really. Well, it's fantastic having Michael in the scheme because he's got so much clarity about what needs to be done that we can't see. It was taking the, the script we had, then breaking it down again to it, its most basic elements and saying, this is what works. You can call us Mr Metro. My clients do. Both of them, actually. <laughs> The BBC and NFM have really committed to jesting about funding a scheme whereby we can really discover and encourage new talent. The ideal for me would be a series on BBC One, you know, perhaps a second series, maybe we'll get out after a third. It would be wonderful if suddenly there was a commission for six or eight episodes. That's my dream for 2011. <laughs>